a your heavenly Father. He who exists, kneel in front of you. The word Baruch means to kneel. He kneels in front of you, making himself available with his arms extended like a father kneeling before his child in order to minister and bestow comfort and gifts and promises. The word and keep you, may your heavenly father, he who exists, guard you with a hedge of thorny protection. This is his arms going around you in a divine embrace that will prevent Satan and all your enemies from harming your body, soul, mind, and spirit. What do you need, deliverance? What do you need, healing? It comes because you're in his presence. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Your heavenly Father, may he illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, continually bringing you to order so that you will fulfill your God-given destiny and purpose. And in our English Bibles it says, and be gracious to you. I love this because this is the Father looking into your eyes, his smile of pleasure. This is where he's saying, I love you, my daughter. I love you, my son. I am well pleased in you. This is my favorite one. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. The word in Hebrew is nasa. It means to lift up and carry you. So this is the heavenly father. He's lifting you up like a child, like a little son or daughter. And he's carrying you in his arms, supporting you with his divine embrace and his entire being. But now this is what you get out of that relationship. This is what he leaves you with and give you peace. What it means, shalom in the Hebrew is much more than the absence of war, okay? It's may God, your heavenly father, set in place all you need to be whole and complete so you could walk in victory moment by moment by the power of the Holy Spirit. May he give you supernatural health, supernatural peace, supernatural welfare, safety, soundness, tranquility, prosperity, perfection, fullness, rest, harmony, as well as the absence of agitation and discord. And now... This is where the impartation really comes. When the Hebrew is being sung over you, world-renowned Messianic worship leader Paul Wilbur is going to sing it over you. And this is one of the most anointed things you will ever experience. Get ready.
Shalom.